This is a response to those who created a video and spread a false idea about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu When talking about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, keep in mind that he is talking about the greatest individual in history. And this is not a baseless claim. Yes, this is not a baseless claim. For the one who reads his biography and his mannerisms and ethics while keeping aside all preconceived notions would certainly reach this conclusion. Some fair and just non-Muslims have reached this conclusion as well. Let me tell you some of the Prophet's manners and characteristics. The Messenger had an excellent, complete and sound intellect. No man has ever had an intellect as complete and perfect as his. This becomes clear to an individual when the researcher reads the Prophet's biography and understand the state of affairs, his meaningful and inclusive utterances, his traditions, and his good manners, ethics, and moral character, his knowledge of Torah and Gospel and other divine scriptures, and his knowledge of his statements of the wise, and knowledge by gun nations, and ability to strike examples and implement policies and correct emotional manners. He was an example and paradigm to which his people could relate to in all branches of knowledge, acts of worship, medicine, laws of inheritance, lineage, and other matters as well. He knew and learned all of this without reading or examining the scriptures those before us, nor he sat with their scholars. The Prophet Muhammad was wise to the fullest extent of his mental capacity. Allah the Exalted informed him of what had taken place in the past and what would take place in the future. And this is a sign that the dominion belongs to Allah and he is capable over all things. The Prophet Muhammad would always go do deeds through which he would seek the pleasure of God. He was abused and harmed when he invited people to Islam. Yet he was patient and endured all of this and hoped for the reward of God. The Prophet Muhammad was honest and sincere in all his matters. The Prophet Muhammad was a living example for all humans to follow. Aisha, his wife, was asked about the manners of the Prophet. She said his manners were the Quran. In this statement, Aisha meant that the Prophet Muhammad abided by its laws and commands and abstained from its prohibitions. The Prophet Muhammad had a great forbearance. One of his companions came to the Prophet Muhammad complaining about a tribe who refused to accept Islam and asking him to curse them. But the Prophet Muhammad raised his hands in prayer and instead said, O oh Allah, guide this tribe and bring them to Islam. The Prophet Muhammad was the kindest of people. The Prophet Muhammad was fearing God and mindful to not trespass the limits of God. The Prophet said, Sometimes I return to my family. I would find a date of fruit on the bed. I would pick it up to eat it. But I would fear that it was from the charity and thus threw it back on the ground. He helped and assisted his family members with their chores. But when the, the call of the prayer was heard, he would stop everything and leave to attend the prayers. One of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said, I have never seen a man who smiled as much as the messenger of God. He was so honest and humble. He visited the sick whether Muslim or non-Muslims. The Prophet Muhammad Sallam at his house was like any man. He washed his clothes, milked his sheep, and served himself. The wives of the Prophet Muhammad Sallam, why did he marry 11 women? After the death of his first wife Khadija, the Prophet Muhammad Sallam married 11 women. All were divorces, except Aisha. Six of his wives were from the tribe of Quraysh and five were from different Arabian tribes. The Prophet Muhammad married 11 women for a number of reasons. Number one, distillative purpose. The Prophet Muhammad married Zainab bin Jash. Arabs in the era of ignorance would prohibit a man from marrying the wife of his adopted son. They believed that the adopted son is like a man's actual son in all aspects. The Prophet Muhammad ﷺ married Zainab 
although she was previously the wife of his adopted son. So that the Prophet Muhammad married Zainab to abolish this belief. Number two, political reasons and for the spread of Islam. Number three, social reasons. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, married some of his companions' wives uh, who had died in battle or while on a mission to preach Islam. He married them even though they were older than him. He did so to honor them and their husbands. And keep in mind, all wives of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, were not virgin, nor were they young or beautiful. So how can anyone claim that the Prophet Muhammad was lustful? He just followed the practice of previous prophets, uh, just like Moses, who no one objected to the pearl of marriage. And finally, what did they say about Muhammad? Muhammad himself, after all that can be said about him, was not a sensual man. We shall err widely if we consider that this man as a common voluptuary, intent mildly on base enjoyments, nay on enjoyments of any kind. The German poet, Wolfgang Guthi, I looked into history for a human paradigm and found it to be in Muhammad. Professor Keith Moore said in his book, The Developing Human, It's clear to me that these statements must have come to Muhammad from God or Allah, because most of this knowledge was not discovered until many centuries later. This proves to me that Muhammad must have been a messenger of God or Allah. My last word for Muslims, don't think that if you change your logos or mottos or your phrases, that would bring victory. No. Following the noble manners and ways of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, would bring victory, definitely. Ooh.